Hello everyone, this is Daddy Okoto Jr. Well, it's my tag name now, so add me on Steam if you'd like. But, this is not about Steam, this is about this new addition to my tabletop collection. This is the game Million Dollars But by Rooster Teeth. As you can tell, tagline is, What terrible things you would do for one million dollars. Oh, the hilarity that will ensue. So, with that said, this was a Kickstarter game that's, that came from Rooster Teeth, the company that brings you Ruby and the Achievement Hunters, along with the original favorite, Red vs. Blue. So, if you see an episode of Million Dollars Butt, it's pretty hilarious. And Rooster Teeth made the game itself, and it was actually quite great. I actually wanted to get in there. Hearing about it, I decided to just be a backer immediately. Now, this one right here, this one, I went for the challenge coin edition. So, as you can tell, I have no challenge coin. Don't worry, the challenge coin will come in soon. So, I'm getting one, and it looks really cool. And plus, I ordered, I got a second one along with it. So, taking a look at it, as you can tell, these are just, I just got them out of the box. They are still shrink wrapped. As you, they are still shrink wrapped. You can see it. If you see the reflection of my phone, you can still see they're shrink wrapped. There it zooms in. And then it also came with the expansion pack. Same, the first edition expansion pack. They're coming out, and if it can zoom in right there, hold on, let me try something. There it is. They got the Rooster Teeth logo along with the expansion pack. Now, turn the back over. What terrible things you would do for a million dollars. Yes, this is Rooster Teeth's personal game. It takes 30 minutes. It's 17 and up, and you'll see why after I pause this video. When I pause this video and actually get to open this baby up. What horrible things will ensue. As you can tell, and here is a... I forgot to mind. This is the expansion pack. A 100, a 100 card million dollars butt edition. So there's not much cards in this one. I say you could use this as like a to-go box, you know, to promote the game if you'd like. But if you want the full experience, join the fray and get the whole million dollars butt the game. Now, like I said, these things are shrink wrapped. I just got them out of the box, and they look beautiful. I don't. I want to open. Can't wait to open them now. So give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna pause this video. And we will be back. All right, now we've opened this game up, and you can tell this is what it's inside it. You've got the box right here. I empty. You got a set of rules right there, and the cards itself. Now, looking at each set, each thing differently. Here's what you've got. You've got a set of cards here. These gold cards represent rule cards. These black cards represent a trigger. So whenever the like the like in the like in the show million dollars, but you actually got to create a scenario. Basically, you've got the basic rules right here. Shows you how to play the traditional way of million dollars, but and then let me hold on. I got to get something fixed. Hold on. There, are just a. Uh, Need to get something out of the uh, just clean up the lens a little bit, but there it is. So back to the game. Now there's a different set of rules right here. You've got house rules where you can actually make a scenario. Let me see. You can four trigger cards and like who has the most with the most death wins. Basically, you can try to create any scene you can, and then cards against insan amidst insanity. Basically, 10 rule cards. It's basically like the apples to apples, basically. Rules for apples to apples. But basically, the one that you want to play is the traditional rules, the basic rules of million dollars. But So, how does it work? I'm going to be doing a field test soon, so I'll have some friends who wants to join in with me to see how many horrible things will be set, done for a million dollars. So, here it is right here. So let's go to the cards themselves. What you do is that you pick up one of these black cards, which creates a scenario, which creates a trigger. 
So, for a minute, a million dollars. But whenever you smell, your hands are covered in cactus needles. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Maybe you take a whiff of something, so like you smell food and yeah, and then your hands are covered in cactus needles. That's gotta suck, right? Or million dollars but every time you think of blank which is caught which is created by anyone you have to relocate to another city for 48 hours so I believe these you can actually you know use around for anything you like to add in there so you gotta do a little kinda cool and crazy messed up things but this is the expansion pack. You can basically add anything you want to these. So I'm going to grab some cards from the main deck and show an example of an actual gameplay. Even though it's by myself and going to just a little test run. So give me a couple minutes. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh, and I forgot to mention something about the, the game itself. So when you look here, you need... Like when I said, the 17 and up, so you want to be prepared because this is pretty scary like stuff you're going to hear or pretty hilarious stuff. You can have at least three to six players, or you can do two and then have an outside party, you know, just have a little fun. You can do like a, like a little impractical joker side style, so you can do that. So now, I finally realized what those uh, blank cards were, so basically what the judge would do, there would be three players, two of them would be the players, and then we have a third party as the judge. You can have him or her decide what that blank is. So now that I've got some cards from the main deck. So, for example, million dollars. But every time you get wet, you get a, someone from their hand would draw a card. But since I'm just showing a mock scenario, okay, every time you get wet, you must take two shots of horse urine. That's just nasty and doesn't seem right. Yeah, like I'm going to go whack off a horse or I'm going to go, or like my opponent's going to go ask, say, hey, can I go to go to a nearby farm and say, hey, can I borrow some horse urine? And then the farmer gives it to him and he goes, ziggy, zaggy, ziggy, zaggy, oi, oi, oi. That's just nasty. Or player two would have a million dollars button. Every time your phone battery dies, Let's go with the right side this time. Your genitals postulate. Okay, that's scary and not, that doesn't seem good, feel good, or anything like that. So basically, I think best case scenario is that you just got to keep your phone battery charged for as long as possible. If it goes in the red zone, I think uh, you're pretty much screwed. So you would debate about it. Both players would debate whether or not this scenario, their scenario is is bearable or got completely god awful the judge will then decide what scenario is ap what they would absolutely not do for 1 million dollars good idea i think it was every time you get soaked you must take a shot you would not do that at all because if your phone battery dies that's the least of your worries cuz if you keep your phone charged up or you turn off your phone so you can at least preserve your battery so I think you'd be pretty much safe there so that's basically it million that's the hilarity that will ensue even though I'm just practicing showing you an example of what a game would look like so along with the so basically all the cards you get are in here you get like about four to five hundred cards it looks like and I just took out at least a good hundred out of these out of this section right here so that could be about 500 cards you get a rule book that shows you how to play the game and then in my case I got an extra expansion and I will be getting sometime soon the coin for the game so that's a million dollars, but it was one of the best things I've ever gotten. I just can't wait to play it with some of my friends and debate why you would do these horrible things to yourselves for a million dollars. So, oh, and also, they also mentioned this. They are creating a community expansion pack, which is given by members, which the cards will be generated by members of the Kickstarter community based on usability, playability, and just plain hilarity. 
pun. So if Barbara's listening to this, I just I think I either rhymed or barbed there. So million dollars, but Rooster Teeth, you made one hell of a game. Like I said, if you're a fan of Cards Against Humanity and Super Fight, this is the game for you. If you're like apples to apples, or but feel like you don't get a voice in that in the saying because you're trying to be as funny, this is the game for you. So, what horrible things you would do for a million dollars? So, whenever you get a zit, would you do a small amount of cocaine for every million dollars you get? For a million dollars, anytime you get a zit, just do a small amount, just do a small line. Would you, or would you not? I do not condone drug use in any way, so just watch the hilarity ensue as you play this really hilarious game by the makers of some of the greatest series known to man, Ruby and Red vs. Blue. Thanks guys. Thank you Rooster Teeth for creating this game. I'm loving it so far. I just can't wait to give it a test drive and I will promote the hell out of it. Thank you guys. Have a good night.